name is Devya and what are we gonna do today? We're making a flutter dog. Ooh, so exciting. You've gotta stop doing this. Okay. So we're making off-shoulder flutter tops and oh my god, they're so much in fashion and you know, they're not going anywhere, they're going to stay. So if you still haven't tried any flutter top or if you've just fancied it or for whatever reasons you have a cloth lying around with you, then please go ahead and try this. This is amazing. And you know what? It's gonna look amazing with silk cloth. If you have any like silk sari or silk chunni or silk suit, then if you're allowed to, then please go ahead and give it a shot from those cloths. So I had a fabric lying around and that fabric was supposed to be used for a kurta. But uh, my mom really did not like the print. So I had it for experimentation and this is what I got from it and oh my god it looks amazing so keep on watching and let's do this and wait please hit that subscribe button we're so close to 10,000 subscribers so please be with me if you like me but if you don't then please skip this video don't you don't have to watch me if you don't like me but if you do then please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and let's do this Okay, so this is the fabric. It's a very light fabric and it's majorly blue. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to measure 32 inches into 8 inches. And the cloth is folded. So these are two pieces. And this will be the flutter or the frilly section at the top. And I'm going to cut it in the center so I get the two flutters. Now the second thing is to fold your cloth twice and make sure that it's at least 15 inches by 15 inches. That's the minimum cloth that you'll need. So I've started at the beginning of the measuring tape and then I'll mark at 5 inches and then at 14 inches. So this will be my guide. Now, for the top section, it has to be 9 inches long. And make sure you have a chalk which works on the cloth. And for the next part, it has to be 11 inches long. And I'm connecting the two dots so that it's easier for me. And at the end, it has to be 13 inches. So connecting the first two lines will give us an armhole. And the second two lines will give us the body. So I have also attached this measurement which you can refer to. And please mind that when you're cutting this fabric, make sure to leave at least one inch at all the sides. This will be hemmed later on. And I have cut these little sections which actually connect the lines so that where the actual markings are. This really helps. So opening up the fabric, it looks like this. This is the body of the top. And we cut two pieces. So that's how they're going to look. So I've cut a slant because I wanted it really wide. So the first thing you're going to do is hem the top, the bottom and the armholes. And also for the flutter, you're going to hem the bottoms. And for the top, you have to fold it in a sufficiently long so that your elastic passes through it so fold your fabric twice this is how you should hem it and it looks very neat if you do it this way so take your time and hem all the sections that i've told you to This is the flutter and I, my elastic was really thin so I did not make a huge gap. I just left half an inch of gap for the elastic. And for the armhole you just fold it and you stitch a little and then you turn it. And that's how you get that curve in your armhole. It's actually quite simple stitching, you know, 
just give it a give it a shot try it out it's actually a lot fun Alright, that's done. So after hemming, the cloth looks like this. And I did it on both the halves. And the flutter looks like this. And it has sufficient gap for my elastic. See how tiny this elastic is. And you want this size only. So the layout of the top is like so. I hope you're now getting some idea how it's going to be. So stitch your t-shirt and the flutter together and now the sides of the t-shirts. So after stitching it looks like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to pass your elastic. Now this elastic I've cut it in two pieces because I want separate elastics in both the sides. So uh, the measurement of elastic is 15 inches each and I've used a bobby pin to insert my elastic <laughs> because I couldn't find anything else and make sure you hold the other end so that it doesn't get inside see how easy or you could pass on another bobby pin at the end so this way also you can stop the elastic from going back now you're just gonna align both of your fabrics and stitch at the end this is the last stitch and you're actually done with the top. See, I told you it was very easy. All the projects that I pick up are really easy. Just align the two fabrics. You don't want any untidy left outs. So it looks like this, this is the final t-shirt and I've added two laces at the frill and at the t-shirt. So at the frill I got this broad blue and silver lace and at the bottom it's a very simple white lace and yeah, you can add a lace if you want, you can skip it if you want, you can use any fabric which you want and you're done. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did then please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more such DIYs and if you were inspired from my video and you decided to make something out of it then please make sure to tag me or send me the photos on my Instagram or Facebook accounts I'll be there and I love reading your comments and your messages it just makes my day so I hope you enjoyed spending time with me and I'll see you next Wednesday so then, take care and bye bye. Oh, got me. So I hope you, I hope you.